Hey there, and welcome to this month's STEM box lesson. We cultured bacteria in this month's box on nutrient agar plates, so now it's time to talk about what bacteria even are. So a lot of us have heard about germs. Germs are these nasty things that make us sick, right? And that's what bacteria are. Wrong. Bacteria are actually in everything and everywhere. Bacteria are responsible for so many cool things. Who likes cheese? I didn't hear anybody say not me because everybody loves cheese. Well, bacteria is a part of cheese. It's part of yogurt. It's part of any food that you like to eat that's really stinky and extra tasty. Bacteria are also part of your body. For every single human cell on you, there are 20 bacteria, meaning that there are at any time 20 to 200 trillion bacteria on your body. Like, that's not just for dirty people, that's for people who are clean, who bathe every day, it's everyone. The other cool thing about bacteria are that they are very different from our human cells. So human cells are something called eukaryotes. We have a membrane-bound nucleus that holds all of our DNA. But bacteria don't have that. Bacteria have a non-membrane-bound nucleus, so their DNA is just kind of hanging out in a nucleoid. They also have something called plasmids, and plasmids are circular pieces of DNA that they can use to increase their chances of survival by mutating their genetic code at any given point of time that they need it. Bacteria are also incredibly cool because they can move around with really cool structures called pili, like this, or flagella, and it's like a long, wavy tail. So apart from these really cool appendages that help them get around, it is also important to note that bacteria have three distinct categories that scientists have been able to find. There are the cocci, they are spelled C-O-C-C-I, they are actually round, spherical bacteria shapes that can live in clumps or alone. We also have rods, which sounds exactly like what it is. They are rod-shaped bacteria. They can also link up into a chain, or they can hang out alone. And lastly, my favorite is the spiral-shaped bacteria because that's awesome. Who wouldn't want to be a spiral that just hangs around in cytoplasm all day? I would. They can also do all sorts of things that are involving photosynthesis if they need more energy besides just eating what's around them and metabolizing that. Bacteria in general are just super duper awesome. Other fun fact, did you know if your dry weight, that means no water in your cells or in your body, if you calculated your dry weight, 10% of that would be bacteria, which is disgusting and amazing all at the same time. You might be wondering why there are so many bacteria on this planet and in our bodies. Well, there is a process called binary fission in which bacteria can split into two, and then those two split into two, and then they all split into two more of themselves. This is an exponential growth rate, meaning it just doubles and doubles and doubles, and it is sick. So, basically, the entire world contains so many bacteria because of this process of binary fission where they just divide and share each other's cytoplasm and DNA. Another super interesting fact about DNA. There is a theory called the endosymbiotic theory. This postulates that way back long time ago, there were big cells that ate little bacteria that had really cool jobs. So in our human cells, we have this thing called a mitochondria. A mitochondria is an organelle that is the powerhouse. It creates tons of energy for our cells to do everything they do for us. So what happened is the cell ate a bacteria that was producing tons and tons of energy and just kept it. And it kept reproducing with that mitochondria. This is why all of your cells have the same DNA in their mitochondria that come from your mom which is just bonkers to think about. So really, bacteria are nothing to be afraid of. You should celebrate bacteria. Obviously, wash your hands, but bacteria are fantastic organisms that make our world so diverse and so unique. So thank your bacteria. Stay tuned, we'll see you guys next time. This has been Stembox. You've been great, bye.